Okay, investigators say they have enough evidence against the Bay Area bishop. He could be charged for what he didn't do about claims of abuse involving a priest. Next. Ship was informed the, uh, the night of the confession. A priest's confession has him on the run from the law and a Bay Area bishop facing the possibility of criminal charges. It all could lead to a legal first for the Catholic Church. ABC 7's Deborah Villalone is in the newsroom with the latest developments on this, Deb. Well, clergy, like teachers and doctors, are required under state law to report suspected child abuse. Investigators say it didn't happen fast enough in this case. And now the bishop who was brought into Santa Rosa to clean up after years of sex abuse scandals is in trouble himself. You have to talk to a victim to understand it. That's Bishop Daniel Walsh of Santa Rosa, back when the nation's bishops met in Dallas on the clergy abuse crisis. Protesters and parishioners outraged at how the church had harbored pedophile priests. Walsh told me then he wanted zero tolerance. You can't inflict that upon someone else, no matter what the problems you're having at that time, and then just say, well, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry is what Walsh is now saying about the case of Xavier Ochoa, a longtime Sonoma Valley priest. Last spring, Ochoa allegedly told Walsh and several other priests that he kissed a nine-year-old boy after having him strip in the church rectory. But Walsh told the church attorney, not authorities. And by the time the sheriff got wind of it, four days later, Ochoa had slipped away to Mexico. You dial 911 and report it immediately. Wayne uh, Presley so it, is an abuse survivor, uh, among those pressing authorities to move against Walsh for failing in his mandatory duty to report molestation. By allowing Ochoa to flee, who is to watch him and who knows what he is doing in, in Mexico at this point? They came to this country for the, for, to be abused and to be used and to be sodomized and, and uh, horrific stories. Ochoa's accusers say he befriended immigrant families and groomed their sons for abuse. Some are just now coming forward as young adults. And they say Ochoa's confession wasn't the bishop's first clue. He had trouble. Letters and correspondence from various parishioners and their families saying, he can't, ha he can't be around our kids. We don't want him around our kids. He's, he's doing things that are improper. In, in no comment on that yet from the Santa Rosa Diocese. But Bishop Walsh's own tough talk of the past may haunt him now. We have to be accountable. He told me four years ago, bishops who cover up should have clear consequences. Resigning. Even more than his resignation, Walsh's critics want him to face felony charges for failing to report. But charges will be up to the Sonoma County District Attorney, who's not commenting tonight. Neither is Bishop Walsh, but on the diocese website, he says he is deeply sorry for being cautious about reporting and that he'll accept whatever punishment is imposed.